the arid and semi-arid lands which are equivalent to 80 percent of kenya's land mass have for decades been associated with low economic growth and chronic poverty over the years successive droughts increasingly unpredictable rainfall and other impacts of climate change made it difficult to find enough pasture and water ile shida tulikuwa naye kubwa sana sana ni maji maji kwa sababu kutoka pale stage kwenda mpaka wasongiro river ilikuwa ni kama kilomita kumi. na wamamu walikuwa wanashika mapunda wanaenda mpaka huko unaenda mchana mzima ndio upate maji na na hizi mitaro sio hapa ilikuwa ni maji ilikuwa imetengeneza na kila mara kinyesha maji inapita kwa hizi napita hapa natoa mtaro kubwa na beba hapa kuna wakati mwingine ilikuwa imebeba ngombe mpaka huko chini kwa hivyo nilikuwa nimepata shida mingi sana kwa sababu hata kuna wakati nashindwa kufuka kuna wakati mwingine naenda soko unakuja ukuta kama imenyesha wewe pidisha chakula kwa hivyo tukakuwa na shida kubwa sana sasa mpaka watu waje na majembe watengeneze njia ndio tuweze kufuka These developments attracted the attention of the United Nations Development Program UNDP which initiated the mainstreaming of sustainable land management in agropastoral practice. This was a 5-year project born of a partnership between the Global Environment Facility GEF, Government of Kenya through its Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries and the United Nations Development Program. Tulipata kupanda mimea ingine hasa sana ni nyasi. Wanaume walipopanda nyasi kwa kidogo kidogo waliona imekuwa. Mwaka wa pili 2015 walipanda zaidi. Baka hata kuna mwanaume mmoja aliyestahimili kwa ukubwa zaidi kuwa mkulima mkubwa wa nyasi baya ni kama aliyelisha area hii kwa wingi sana kwa nyasi. Eh, kwa kweli hapo zamani hatukua tunaona nyasi kama ni kitu ambayo ina, unaweza ukaitumia ama inaweza ikakusaidia. Nyasi tulikuwa tunasema tu ni chakula cha ngombe na hatukua tunahifadhi. Lakini vile hao watu walikunja huku wakapeleka watu wawili kutoka kwa hiki kikundi. Huko wakaenda wakasoma juu ya juu ya nyasi. Wakafundishwa venye wanaweza ipanda wakapatiwa mbengu na wakakunja huku na hizo mbengu tukasipanda na tukaambiwa jinsi tunaweza kusikata na kusiweka kwenye A alafu sasa tukikata tunauza singine tunapatia ngombe zetu tumefundishwa kuhusu kupanda nyasi na hii nyasi ambayo inaitwa bomaro inafanya sana katika eneo hili ambaye tumekuwa tukipanda kwa miezi tatu unafuna unapata pesa unaendelea na biashara maana hata sisi e, tukiwa vijana hapo awali tulikuwa tunafanya kasi ngumu katika kijiji hii tulikuwa tunafanya kasi ya kupeleka ngombe kuhamisha mpaka hata wengine wenu hawakuenda shule kwa sababu ya hiyo kasi kuenda kutafutia ngombe malisho lakini wakati tulipata bomaro tukakuwa tunalisha ngombe zetu maana hiyo bomaro inatusaidia tusihamehame The aim was to address chronic poverty, hunger and land degradation by building capacity for sustainable land management especially amongst women. The project worked to improve carbon stocks, promote water conservation and climate smart agropastoral practice in order to enhance food security, build sustainable livelihoods and restore the ecological integrity of arid and semi-arid landscapes. Tulifundishwa mambo ya kukuzuia mmonyoko wa udongo. Tukafundishwa kushimba hizi terraces na kama una nguvu ya kushimba terraces unafanya ile inaitwa stone line ile kunene kuweka mawe. Dipoza maji hiyo haiwezi kunenea haiwezi kupita. Ya pili walitufundisha namna ya kupanda. Tulikuwa tunapanda kienyeji. Lakini wakati wa mahindi au maharagwe tulifunzwa ile inakuwa Mahindi tulifunzwa ile inalingana na area hii. Kwa sababu hapa ni mahali ya mvua kidogo na tukafunzwa ile inastahili na ninaona imenifaidi kwa sababu ninavuna. Mbeleni pengine ningevuna pengine hata gunia sita au tano kwa ika moja. Sasa ninavuna hata gunia 15 
hata 18 unaona inafaidi maharagwe tunavuna kabisa Sham, mashamba yetu ya kila memba imechapwa mitaro mchanga yetu haiwezi yenda na maji hata mvua ikinyesha mchanga utabaki pale pale pia mafuno yako itakuwa masuri kwa maana hakuna mchanga inapotea the women in Maasai communities whose preserve is to raise and keep poultry have also been empowered. Women now play an active role in managing the land and in decision making at both the household and community level. Their greater economic security makes it possible for them to provide better for their families and to ensure a brighter future for their children. Kwa hivyo mimi ninaona kabisa imenisaidia na nimekuwa nikiendelea na shughuli zangu za nyumbani watoto kuwasomesha kwa sababu ya hiyo chakula. Business nyingi tumefungua na vile atakuwa wa mama wa Masai wako wanajua hiyo hata kidogo. Wengi hata uwezi ona. Ukienda sokoni uwezi pata mama wa Masai anauza. Lakini saa hii ukienda ni hao ndio wanakukaribisha kwa soko kwa maana wamerefuka wamepata elimu. Sisi tunategemea kasi yetu ile tumefanya kwa mikono na tukapewa msaada. Si nyingine tunazanga mayai, tukanunulia watoto wetu tulamu, tukanunulia watoto wetu vitabu, hata saa nyingine kuwalipia kano ya shule. Over the years the land continued to be depleted of ground cover, making it susceptible to soil erosion. Due to increased poverty, the community also resorted to cutting down indigenous tree species for charcoal production. This is evidenced by excessive soil erosion, gullies and low vegetation cover. Ujaribu kuangalia hapo tu ndio green. Kwa sababu wakati ilikuwa imenyesha na mtaro imetengenezwa, maji yalikuwa yanagibia tena. Kwa hivyo ile shida ambayo ilikuwa inatukumba ya maji kukata mashamba imeisha kabisa. Kwa hiyo pale ilikuwa imetengenezwa. Hii murati ikija hapa hapo ilikuwa na shinda sana ambapo area hii imejaa ile tunaita mangala tama eh hali ya mnyoko ondogo ilikuwa imeenea sana SLM ilipokuja iliangalia area hii ikaona ni senda ya ya area hii ikaona ni ni, ni senda ndio wakakuja na waso ya kusema wataanza kutengeneza hapa pale unaona nyuma yangu palikuwa pambaya sana jio watoe mfano kwa watu wajue ile sema ambao ume, umeiacha unaweza kuitengeneza na baada ya miaka michache ikawa ni, ni kama ile chamba ya kitambo ama ile kicheka ya kitambo but today the inhabitants of Suswa and Itivanzu are seeing positive changes on their landscapes they have adopted improved farming practices and undertaken soil and water conservation measures which have resulted to reduce soil erosion and deforestation. We found these families and did improved in terms of socioeconomic livelihood. And that was a plus. I can highlight a few aspects how we benefited. I know some of them told us that having been paid because we employed them to construct these so many structures. Some even we stopped. We are talking of probably a hundred cows or something like that. Some boat goats of it. Very important. Some went far as even paying school fees for the kids. And what is also very, very, very important, as a result of that, in both Tuso and Suso, in fact, they started to make our And we are very happy about it kulikuwa na kazi ya kina mama kulikuwa ile wanafanya na vijana na ile kulikuwa na ile nafanya na wazee na kila wiki walikuwa wanapatiwa pesa kwa hivyo tuliona mimiinua sana uchumi wetu wa Masai kila siku ya Jumaa walikuwa wanalipa watu wanaenda kununua kuna wengine wamenunua kondoo au kwa na kondoo kabisa na kuna mtu amepata hata kondoo 40 wengine wamejenga manyumba kwa hivyo tumeona wamerusaidia sana it is notable that adoption of sustainable land management practices will go a long way in enabling communities reduce land degradation, improve the productive capacities of their land, hence making them more resilient to environmental shocks. 
Water is the greatest limiting factor to land productivity in arid and semi-arid lands including the pilot districts. Communities in these sites have been experiencing challenges in availability of water. Farmers have had to spend most of their time trekking long distances in search for water for domestic and livestock use. This has undermined the ability of the locals to engage in other economic activities like farming and trading. Ngombe zangu katika kiangazi ya sasa asikupata kuhama pale pengine. Ilista imili na imaji imaji hata sijui ni ni nini iko ndani yake. Maji ngombe inapotoka kwa ngombe inarudia sijui mara nne hii maji ukipeleka na urudishe bado tu inakunywa kwa hivyo inasaidia ngombe ile ngombe niliyokuwa naye ilisaidia kwa njia nyingine saidi hii kiangasi nilipata ku long last ambaye hatukuwe ipata hata katika siku zingine na mimi sikuchinja ngombe kama wenzangu wengine wote ngombe yote waliostahimili kunywa hii maji ilifaa sana hii mradi ilitusaidia sana wakatushimbia hii wakatushimbia manchi hapa karibu hapo zamani tulikuwa tunaenda manchi mbali kama around 8 kilometers kutoka nyumbani na ilikuwa ni shinda kubwa sana kwa sisi kama kina mama ndio ulikuwa unatoka nyumbani kutoka asubuhi na watu walikuwa ni wengi sana mtoni unaenda huko unangonja manji kutoka asubuhi endi jioni na kwa hiyo siku yote ulikuwa hakuna kitu kingine unaweza kufanya ila kuchota manji tu peke yake sasa hiyo ilikuwa ni shinda kubwa sana. Lakini kwa vile hii mradi iliweza kutushimbia manchi hapa karibu. Sasa tunaona ni faida kubwa sana kwetu sisi kama wamama. During heavy rains, large quantities of sand is transported downstream. To curb this, the sand was trapped by building a concrete wall across the runoff channel. During flooding, what sinks and is stored in the sand creating a subsurface dam or sand dam. Hapo awali kabla tunja njengewa hii subsurface dam tulikuwa tunajenga tunachimba vizima ile shallow wells. Na hiyo maji tulikuwa tunaipata katika feet 20. Na tulikuwa na tabu sana wakati wa kupatia ngombe setu na sisi nini hii e, water. Kwa saa hii tunafaidika kwa sababu tumejengewa hii subservice na SLM. Roof catchment is an ex situ rainwater harvesting practice that uses gutters to collect water from the roofs of buildings. The water is then stored in tanks. Were this not possible, the water would have gone to the ground running down the slope, thereby causing soil erosion and degradation. The practice was applied at Itivanzu Secondary School in Chuso. This provided clean water for drinking and watering seedlings in the school. Before SLM came on board, we had very many challenges. For example, we did not have safe water for children. Time and again, children were moving out of school because of most rewaterborne diseases like typhoid. Since SLM came on board, We have had good results. For example, it is on the performance KCP, that is the national examination. Before the children were on and off from school, but since then, the pupils have been able to complete the eight years course in primary, and their performance has been good. Some of the pilot districts had springs that were the only source of water for livestock and domestic use during the dry season. At such times, the use of a spring was characterized by scramble for the reduced water resource, pollution and conflicts. A concentration of large numbers of livestock polluted the water, causing soil erosion and land degradation in the spring's immediate environs. Women had to wait long hours to draw water, leaving little time for other livelihood chores. Furthermore, the only time these women would be able to draw water was at dawn or dusk, hours that exposed them to insecurity. 
samani tulikuwa na shida sana. Tulikuwa na shida kina mama walikuwa na shida. Tulikuwa tunakucha mtoni kwa tu, tuseme unapigia watoto chakula saa moja jioni alafu unakucha mtoni. Ukikucha hapa mtoni unakuta kina mama karibu kina mama 20. Na mama moja analeta anapeba mitungi karibu inne au tano. Tulikuwa tuna tunapanga line mrefu sana. Tunangocha sasa mama achote hiyo machi na tulikuwa tunachota na, na mikepe. Kucha hiyo kucha hiyo mtungi moja inachukua inachukua karibu saa moja. Saa mzima. Sasa tulikuwa tunakaa hapa mtoni karibu eh, usiku yote na ume, machi nimewacha watoto kwa nyumbani. Nimewacha kila kitu na umepata ukichota machi unapata tuseme ni mtungi moja sasa unaenda nyumbani tulikuwa na shida sana ya machi shida ile ilikuweko ilikuwa ya chuo saidi sisi kina mama tulikuwa na tabu kubwa sana kwa sababu machi ni uhai kwa nyumbani uwezi fanya kitu bila hiyo machi na sasa wakati SLM waliingia tuka, tuka akatusaidia kabisa walikuja kutuajishisha muradhi ya FFS sasa tukaendelea wakatuletea hii maji sasa hii maji tangu FFS waliingia tukapata sasa tukafumzika sasa kwa sababu maji tunapata maji kwa anja rais mama tu anakuja hata kama ni mitungi ni mitungi tano au kumi unakuja tu kufungua tu kwa tap na na na, na kuweka kwa punda yako na unaenda nyumbani. Tulikucha wa, wakatusaidia ku, ku, kutengeneza hii maji na tulikuwa na shida mingi sana ya maji hapo mbereni. Alafu tukaanza tuka kupata maji ya kunywa msuri kwanza na ngombe zetu zikapata maji na tulikuwa na shida mingi sana hapo mbereni kwa sababu tulikuwa tunatembea kama kilomita tano hivi kutavuta maji. Ile shida tulikuwa naye kubwa sana sana ni maji. Maji kwa sababu kutoka pale stage kwenda mpaka Wasongiro River ilikuwa ni kama kilomita kumi. Na wamama walikuwa wanashika mapunda wanaenda mpaka huko unaenda mchana mzima ndio upate maji. Imetusaidia sana hii muradi. Kwa sababu sio sisi peke yetu kina mama wa group ni mpaka community. Wamesaidika kwa sababu hasa sana wanakunyisha ngombe hapa wa mama hasa sana wanachota sasa maji karibu hata hapa center maji inapatikana hapa kwa karibu at the start of the project food insecurity was a critical issue in the pilot districts with an average of 65% relief food dependency Improvement of land management and productivity was therefore a critical component with a view to initiate processes of removing the pilot districts from relief food dependency. In addition, there was an enhancement of household food self-sufficiency and increasing incomes from agricultural produce. <laughs> Tumepanda maragwe aina tano na zote tumepata mafuno yao. Vile sisi tulikuwa tunapanda maragwe hatukuwa tunapata mafuno venye tumekuja kupata venye tumepatana na SLM. Kwa hivyo tumepata faida kubwa kwa maana kwa box ni kama tulikuwa tunafuna maragwe kama gunia tatu hivi lakini ilikuwa ni sehemu kidogo sana. Sasa hizo maragwe sote tulikuwa tushafuna. Sasa hii sasa pia tumeshapanda wakati wa kupanda tumepanda tena maragwe ni nyingi tumepanda na pia mahindi tumejua wakati vile tutapanda hawezi panda mahindi bila fertilizer na fertilizer yetu hatuendi dukani tunatumia fertilizer ya ngombe tunachukua tunachimba shamba mitaro tunaweka fertilizer na pia tunafuatisha mbegu hiyo mahindi yetu ni safi tumeona faida kwa SLM na pia minji tuko nazo pia kama sisi wa mama saa hii hatuendi dukani kununua mboga Mboga tunatoa kwa mashambani mwetu hii shamba ndogo ndogo tuko nazo. Tumeshapanda mboga na nyanya na pia carrot zote ziko mashambani hakuna kitu tunanunua sokoni. Tukikuja kwa mavuno ya mahindi tumejua mahindi kupanda. Tumejua ile kuna ugonjwa tuna tayari tumeshafunzwa. Tumejua magonjwa ya mahindi na pia tumefunzwa dawa ya kutumia kwa hiyo mahindi ama kwa hawa wadudu.
wenye wanaingia ndani ya mahindi tumejua kuangamiza mafuno ni mazuri tume sasa hii kwa eka tunasafuna hata gunia 70 lakini hatukua tunajua hiyo. Sasa hii tumerefuka na pia tumepata elimu. Kwa hivyo hii mradi za elimu ilipokuja iliniinua kimawaso. Nikajua ile mboga naweza pata panda nipate faida. Kuliko vile nilikuwa napanda kitambo kitu kidogo alagua akina faida ninapata juu yake. Sasa maisha yetu kinjamii mabadilika kwa sababu hapa awali hatukukuwa na chakula na wakati tulitengeneza mbenz tukapata hii nini mafunzo sawa sawa na tukafanya kasi sasa kwa hii saa hii tuna chakula nyumbani the project supported the adoption of appropriate agricultural practices based on the biophysical assessment by developing appropriate training materials and support extension services to the communities tukapatiwa mbengo ambazo tunaweza tukapanda ambazo zinaweza zikatupatia manufaa mengi sasa tunaona tofauti sio sio kama vile tulikuwa hapo zamani land preparation including initial soil testing and tillage was done at the national agricultural laboratories the soil from farms was tested to establish structure nutrient and organic matter content and water retention capacity among other characteristics and um, the objective of UNDP then was to get some uh, assistance mostly on uh, rehabilitation and soil analysis for the um, uh, pilot areas especially narrow Kitui and other pilot areas they were working in. And so I was approached and um, they told me they have got um, areas which are very degraded, especially in Narok and Kyusa. And um, I told them I told them we can be able to do that rehabilitation. Of course with some backstopping from other scientists from the university. Farmers adopted intercropping of maize and beans, also crop diversification with crops such as grass for hay, watermelons, tomatoes, onions and potato vines were used with the aim to achieve better harvests and to maintain land productivity. Katika hiyo FVS tunafunzwa ukulima na tumefunzwa tupande begu ikiwa moja kwa moja lakini tusijanganye ukienda pale wanaona nilipanda kunde ikiwa peke yake nione kama hivyo ndivyo hivyo na nikaanja katika maweli nikafanya inda cropping ili nijue ikifanya hivyo itatoa chakula eh, ngapi ili kwa, kwa kilo kwa sababu wakati nilikuwa napanda hapo ilikuwa na funa uh, 30 kg lakini wakati ule mwingine nilipanda nikakapata ngunia mbili katika hii michoro miwili ya uh, uh, terraces to reduce post harvest losses farmers were trained and adopted the use of a range of technologies such as anti weevil hematic bags and use of metal silos Asa ukiangalia ukweli ni kwamba utungetembea kidogo ungeona ya kwamba hapa shule tumepanda miembe miembe ambayo imefanywa grafting na yote inaendelea vizuri si miembe tu vile vile kuna mipapai walimu wengine nao hapa wanalipa mboga mboga na vile vile kuna miti miti ambayo imeletwa hapa na, na shirika fulani ambayo nayo imepandwa hapa na hii miti vile vile tunadhania kwamba kama itaweza ku, it, maji haya yataendelea na wanafunzi nao wakiendelea kutuku ya nyunyuzi ya maji bila shaka ni eneo hili litakuwa limebadilika kivyema 
Livestock production plays a major economic and cultural role in all the pilot districts. Nasi wanaume tulipo pata kondola dupas Mbilu tufanikisha zaidi Tulipo patia makike Inapo saliwa watoto hayo Bada ya diri mam Kondo hiyo ya dupas Kondo ndogo sana Tunausa shilinke lukuene Na baba yao Ile kubwa ilipo fika wakati ya kuzo Tuliusa, tuliusa moja for 30,000 power. Na bado tunazo, tunasidi kuzalisha. Na ambaka community walipo ona, unikikundi ndio wali otangulia, wali ipenda. Mbaka hata wasaai bado wanaitafuta na kusema mtu salishi dopasi zaizi, dopasi zenyu mulio letewa. The practice of introducing new livestock and poultry breeds and crossing them with local breeds has over time gained popularity in all pilot districts. Beekeeping as a component of livestock rearing was introduced as a practice to manage bee colonies for production of honey and bees wax. Sali anatusaidia sana. Kama hizi sai kama tukitoa tunasatoa hata nusu gram hizi sai kwa hapa nyuma yangu sile iko mbele nyuma ya mosoni hiyo iko sali mingi sana saidi ya 20 tena singa na hiyo tukitoa tunazapata kama drami mbili kwa hivyo uh, nyuki anatusaidia sana kwa njia ya sali nyuki sasa tuko na mingi sana tunahifadhi na tunajua vile tunahifadhi the securing and rehabilitation of Omumet Spring in Mulot and Kui Spring in Bere resulted in a constant and continuous flow of clean, fresh water. The local community decided to secure a natural pond below the spring and to construct ponds for fish farming. The practice has been a successful alternative livelihood and extra income source with farmers having begun harvesting fish for domestic consumption and for sale. The fish has actually offered a supplement dietary to our students that uh, we, uh, at least timely, we harvest the fish and we give to our students and actually that one has played a great role in supplementing our protein to our students and therefore through them we appreciate because our students other than uh, enjoying the meal it also ensures that they are quite healthy and I believe with time uh, we, shall, the, we shall expand the project uh, maybe by having a second fish pond because our population is growing very fast and actually, so long as we live, we are very happy and we shall not forget them. And uh, we say again, we are very, very happy to be associated with them and uh, to partner with the SRM. This fishbone, tulipewa samaki elfu moja na miambili. Ambaya tulifuga wa muda wa miyesi saba tukatoa. Samaki yenye tuliusa, tuliusa eh, pesa elfu stini na moja. Eh, tuka, yengine tulikula, najua hii wa, wa, miemba sa wakuwa mekula samaki kabisa. Samaki ya likuwa nikitukikene sana. Wakuwa najua, tukapea, tukapea wakakula, wakasikia ni tamu sana. The project adopted wood fuel efficient technologies to reduce consumption and extraction of biomass from the landscapes. Mepata faida 
ya majiko kwa maana mbeleni tulikuwa tunatumia hizi za kawaida na ilikuwa inatumia kuni sana wakati tuletoa majiko tulifunzwa hata venye tutajiwekea majiko sasa hata saa hii hakuna kutafuta mtu wa kukuwekea kwa maana tumefunzwa venye tutajijengea hizo majiko majiko tuliletoa kila memba wetu amepata na sasa hii tumeweka manyumbani hiyo jiko haitumii kuni nyingi tena aina moshi kama vile awali tulikuwa na moshi saa hii tuna unatumia moto wako vizuri kwa maana ukienda kuni kidogo at least unatumia hata kama gongo moja unaweza tumia mwezi mmoja kwa sababu ya hii majiko ya SLN tulikuwa tunapitia shida ya kuni jukuni tunatoa kwa umbali na sasa saa hii hata tukipata kidogo inatusaidia juu ya tumepata jiko mimi nimetengenezewa jiko hata ninapika na miti mbili tu chakula inaiva haraka hii mrandi ya SRM imetusaidia na ile manjiko ya kisasa sote tumepewa manjiko na kila mtu tulienda kwake nyumbani tukamjengea na kulingana na vile tulikuwa tunapika hapo mbereni tumeona mapandiliko kubwa sana mbereni tulikuwa tunatumia kuni mingi sana lakini sasa tunapika tunatumia kuni mbili au tatu harafu chakula kinaifa saa hiyo upande wa nchiko mimi nimeona faida kubwa sana ina save kuni kwa hivyo sisi kama watu hapa tuko na shukrani sana kwa sababu tumesaidika sana kama tungepata watu wengine wa ungetusaidia ajua hii environment ingekuwa imebadilika SLM imetutoa mbali kwa maana kwa elimu hatuko tunajua chochote hata ni wengi hawajaenda shule lakini saa hii kupitia SLM wewe unadhani mtu amesoma ukienda kwake venye anafanya ni kama mtu mwenye amesoma ni kwa sababu ya shule ya SLM